Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics back again with another video tutorial. Today we're going to have some fun using both Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop to create a colourful abstract design. We'll use Illustrator's powerful shape tools to create a tessellating geometric pattern. Then we'll send the vector artwork over to Photoshop for some polishing and finishing touches to add cool textures and colour effects. Begin by opening up Adobe Illustrator and creating a new document of any size. Go to view and hide artboard to give yourself a nice large work area then select the rectangle tool and click once on the artboard to specify an exact size. Enter 50mm for the width and the height to create a square then clear out the stroke colour to leave just a white fill. Next go to effect 3D and extrude and bevel then change the settings to 45 degrees, 45 degrees and 90 degrees. Then for the extrude depth, enter 50mm, the exact size of the square, then change the surface setting to wireframe. Go to object and expand to convert this shape, then repeatedly right click and then select ungroup until the ungroup option is no longer available. Click on the fill box and select a gradient from the swatches panel, then alter the colours of the gradient handles to a pastel yellow to pink. I'm using the colours FFEC96 to E1739C. Switch to the stroke setting, then clear out the current selection by clicking the non icon. Draw a selection around all the objects that make up this cube, then reduce the opacity from within the transparency panel to 70%. Select the lowermost face of the cube, then use the shortcut Command Shift and the left square bracket or the Arrange Send to Back menu option to place this shape at the bottom of the stack. Click on the first cube face on the left and adjust the gradient direction to 90 degrees. Then click the next cube face and change the gradient flow to minus 90 degrees. Change the gradient flow of the top face to 45 degrees, then alter the flow of the rear left face to minus 45 degrees. This just mixes up the colours a little to enhance the gradient effects. Draw a selection around this cube element and press Command and G to group. Turn on Smart Guides with the shortcut Command and U and hold the Alt and Shift keys while dragging out a duplicate of this shape. Use the Smart Guides to snap this shape directly next to the original. Repeatedly press the Transform Again shortcut of Command and D to generate a series of perfectly aligned shapes. Aim for a row of around 8. Draw a selection around all the shapes, then hold Alt while dragging the elements to duplicate the entire row. Align the new row underneath, slightly offsetting it to tessellate the shapes. Draw a new selection to capture all the elements, then hold Alt and drag another duplicate, this time aligning the shapes vertically. Repeatedly press the shortcut Command and D to extend this pattern to fill a rectangular composition. Now the geometric shapes have been created, it's time to switch over to Photoshop to apply some special effects. So we'll download and open a subtle grunge texture to use as a background. Switch back to Adobe Illustrator and select the entire design, then press Command and C to copy, then paste the selection into Photoshop. Select the Pixels option and then scale the design to fit within the canvas, leaving a slight border around the edge. Change the blending mode of the design layer to multiply to allow the texturing to show through, then press Command and J to duplicate this layer. Change the blending mode of this duplicate layer back to normal but reduce the opacity to around 80% to leave just a subtle texturing effect. Create a new layer then set up a large soft brush, then select a bright pastel pink colour and apply it to the lower right corner of the canvas. The colour I'm using is E084E6. Create another new layer and change the colour selection to a pastel orange such as E69B84 and add an area of colour to the lower left corner of the canvas. Create one more layer, this time using a pastel yellow colour like E3E684 and fill in the remaining area at the top of the canvas. Select all three of these colour layers and change the blending mode to soft light then individually reduce the opacity of each layer to tone down the amount of colour adjustment to leave just a subtle change of hue. 44%, 77% and 55% of the opacities that I ended up with. 
Create another new layer and this time add a few dabs of black around the canvas. Change the blending mode to soft light and reduce the opacity to 50%. Add one more layer to the top of the stack, dramatically reduce the size of the brush and set the colour to white. Then add a few highlights to the corners of some of the shapes. Once you've added a range of specular highlights to the design, change the blending mode to colour dodge and reduce the fill to around 10% so the highlights are hardly visible but they make a big difference when the layer is turned off. So that leaves our abstract geometric design complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on YouTube to help spread the word, otherwise you can subscribe both on YouTube and on my website at spoon.graphics to receive more tutorials for Illustrator and Photoshop, along with free resources and inspiration for your upcoming design projects. So as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.